Hey welcome, this is a uh, quick fix for anyone that's trying to plug in their iPhone, iPod Touch or iPads and um, iTunes doesn't see it and yet the latest version of iTunes installed and you hear that little sound in Windows that usually tells you that it's plugged in for example like this it gives you that positive sound that it's plugged in but it doesn't show up anywhere in your um, I, uh, iTunes. Well, one of the problems that I've seen in Windows with uh, the iPads and iPhones is that often there is a um, problem with the driver not updating properly when you update your iTunes. So you update the iTunes and you notice that now your iPad or iPhone doesn't connect anymore. What do you do? It's very simple. Close iTunes. Make sure that you've closed iTunes. Go into your control panel in the computer. So you'll go into the control panel. If you have categories, go into icons view and click the system icon there you will uh, go into the device manager look at mobile devices it's probably at the top of the list and if you click there you're just gonna say Apple iPad Apple uh, iPhone or Apple iPod touch iPod what you need to do is right click on this and click uninstall just remove that device by uninstalling it and once you did that, unplug it and replug your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch or iPod. And you should see that it's going to install the driver at the bottom right. And once that is done, you should see your iPad come back to life or your iPhone come back to life in the iTunes program it's usually um, that quick of a fix for most of the people that are trying to it's very important to note that you need to have that little sound doo -doo, that tells you that well you know it's plugged in and seems to be working if you have any other types of sound like uh, uh, same tones like da -dum, or one that's down like da -dum, that's no good it means there's a problem that's uh, not for this video this video is really for the people that have that positive window sound with the two notes, the one that goes higher at the second time. And that means that technically Windows is okay with the uh, iPhone, iPad, or iPod. If you have that but it doesn't show up in iTunes, this fix is going to work. Of course, if you have any other types of problems, uh, you can try it out um, and see if it works. And of course, always make sure that if you updated your iPhone or iOS device to uh, the latest versions, that you have the latest version of iTunes. It's very important. If you update your device but you don't update iTunes, that will not work. So hope it helped and helped you fix your uh, problems with your iOS devices not syncing right with iTunes in Windows. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe to our channel. You'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have any comments, questions, maybe you have a problem with some device in Windows, Mac, iOS, Android, ask away. We'll try to put that video online and help you. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.